Hi, it's Daria here, and I am here to talk to you today about lichen. So I know that Heather said in the last lesson that we were going to be talking about moss and lichen, but after doing a bit of research, I think that it's safe to say that lichen deserves its own mini lesson. So today we are going to be talking about lichen. So lichen will grow just about anywhere in the world that there is sunlight and water. So that you wouldn't find lichen in a deep dark cave, but you would find it, say, in the frozen arctic. You'd find it on churches and monuments. You'd find it on mountaintops, in deserts. You can find it on recently erupted volcanoes. And of course, you can find it right in your own backyard. So, before we get into that, we need to know what exactly is a lichen? Think of lichen as a tiny little ecosystem where multiple organisms are working together to create a functioning relationship. So the first partner in this relationship is algae or cyanobacteria. Algae can harness energy from the sun and turn it into energy that it can use to grow. Now it's really hard for algae to survive in the forest on their own. So when lichen come into the equation, they can offer protection from elements like wind and loss of moisture and basically offers protection for the algae. And in the meantime, the algae is offering up energy for the lichen to actually use to continue growing. This kind of relationship is what allows lichen to grow in such strange and unusual places all over the world. So now I'm going to give you the three basic lichens that you can go and look for in your backyard right after the end of this video. So first we have folios lichen or leafy lichen. The way I remember this is folios is kind of close to the word foliage, lots of leaves in the fall, folios, foliage, leafy lichen. This is very tight growing, you'll find it on rocks. And I haven't found any of this in my backyard yet, so if you find it, I am envious of you. So in my hand now, this is called Usnia. So Usnia is also known as Old Man's Beard, if you've ever heard it called that. Now, if you find these in your backyard, you should know that the air is really fresh because Usnia love clean, pure air. So if you find this, then you're in a very low polluted area. Now, lichen can survive in all sorts of climate. So if you find a big diversity of lichen in your backyard, you'll know that the air is fresh, even if you don't find Usnia. But if there are multiple types and different colors and different shapes, then you'll know that the air is really fresh in that area as well. Now, I chose to end with these lichen, not only because they're super cool, but because as I did some research on them, I found that another name for Old Man's Beard, or Usnia, is actually the lungs of the forest. Now, this is partially because they do love that fresh air, but I also learned that Usnia was used as an old medicine in China and Egypt. People would grind it up and put it on wounds. They'd use it to make dye. And this one I think is the coolest and the most relevant, but they would use Usnia to treat illnesses of the lungs. They'd treat bronchitis, they'd treat pneumonia, and make it into a medicine for people to flush out their system with. Now obviously I don't recommend making a wilderness medicine unless you are 100% sure you know what you're doing. I certainly don't, but I still think it's a really cool thing to think about and linger on, especially with everything that's going on right now. Anyways, thanks for listening again. I hope you learned something new and interesting, and I hope that you love lichen as much as I do now. I hope you appreciate the little things, and of course, as always, I hope you are staying 
healthy. What better way to give your lungs some loving than getting outside in the backyard, breathing some of the air that these lichen love so much. So show us what little green guys you find in your own backyard. Stay tuned for next week where Tucker will be talking to you about the lay of the land. We're talking about topography. Until then, see you soon.